Soon the Chinese Central Bank will officially issue eight credit bureau licenses. Joining me down the line is Tom Brown, Senior Vice President of Financial Services Lexus Nexus Risk Solutions to discuss the importance of this. Well, China has, of course, been making the headlines over the past month. So why would you say now is the time the Chinese government has chosen to devalue the yuan? My view is the market in China is poised for tremendous growth. You know, it's a marketplace that is just starting uh, to build the solid foundation of, of typical developing economies. And one example, just to give you some insight, you know, in China, the number of individuals that are not part of the traditional financial system is estimated at 250 million consumers. That's larger or almost larger than the adult population of the United States. And so these are individuals that are not participating in the economy. And so as you think about that number of individuals, the ability for a consumer-backed uh, economy to provide long-term growth, it could becomes very exciting, the growth potential for the long term. The Chinese government is trying to reorient the economy from investment to consumption. What role does credit play in this and what impact will this have at a grassroots level? Really the backbone of a consumer-based economy. It's allowing consumers and businesses to transact uh, efficiently. And the foundation of that, uh, that expansion in, in consumer activity is really having accurate information to assess the risk, both from a credit standpoint as well as controlling financial crimes. And that's where having the right technology to bring disparate data together, uh, to link that data and have a uh, insightful view of a consumer or, or small business is critical. It's this risk information ecosystem that is really the foundation of a consumer a society, a consumer economy. As the FT reported, China's banks are facing an ever tighter squeeze as profits stagnate and bad loans rise, while the economy continues to slow and heavily indebted companies struggle to survive. So is this really the time for this measure? What we're talking about here is improving the insight that participants in the economy, you mentioned banks, certainly banks are, are of a, a key consumer and participant in the risk information ecosystem, but it, it provides them with greater insight into consumers and businesses to allow them to make smarter decisions. So it absolutely has uh, the benefit of uh, increasing profitability for banks, increasing safety in the banking sector, um, at the same time, including more consumers in the economy, in the, in the, credit, uh, the credit system. So it provides a, a, a foundational benefit to really everyone. And that's really, if you look at the U.S. or the U.K., really the backbone of those economies is based upon this risk information ecosystem to be able to assess risk. Chinese credit companies are looking to developed markets to leverage best practices and advance well beyond even leading markets such as the United States. Is this really realistic though? And what do the Chinese need to do to achieve this? Well, they certainly are uh, ambitious in terms of innovation. And so uh, I, I think the, the potential for growth, the number of consumers, the number of, of businesses that will come into this ecosystem will really fuel innovation. So you couple uh, their openness to learn best practices from the UK, from the US, as well as the their desire for innovation and the market opportunity because of the number of consumers that can benefit from this. Uh, I find it to be very, very exciting. And finally, in terms of financial risk in China, how does the country compare to other superpowers? And can we even get a clear picture? As, of course, transparency has long been an issue. Well, this is a step directly at transparency, being able to have uh, detailed information, not just your traditional sources, which have been available in China for some time, but having the capability to pull together unique data sources, link those together, and have a, a clear view of, of risk, both from a credit standpoint, from the standpoint of, of controlling economic crime, whether that's anti-money laundering or fraud, you really have a, a, an unprecedented ability for transparency. And that applies to consumers as well as businesses. So this will provide a, a, a more efficient means for the participants in the Chinese economy uh, to engage in transparent uh, commercial activity.